YouTube channel is still your favorite sophisticated shagal. So guys, if this is your first time of turning to my channel, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to turn on the no notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So guys, it's another beautiful day and guess what? Ah, ha, ha. Like guys, what I'm going to be sharing with you today is things I wish I knew before coming to a man. Yeah, things I wish I knew before coming to a man. Though there are a lot of things I wish I knew before coming, but I'm going to be stating for, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be stating for, so that I'm going to give you guys the chance to state yours under the comment section, so you understand. So guys, the first thing I'm going to be saying is, free, um, no freedom of movement. Like seriously guys, this is really a huge blow for me, because I wish I knew this before coming here, like no freedom of movement for Shagala. As for those of you that do not know what, um, what Shagala means, Shagala means made in Arab country. Not Arab, not all Arab country, but here in Oman, yeah, I think Oman and Saudi Arabia, Shagala means made. So there's no freedom of movement at all. Like, no freedom of movement at all. You can't go to the supermarket anyhow you want. Not only the supermarket, so like, if you really want to buy, um, buy something for, for yourself, maybe you don't feel like it's maybe what they have at all. And you want to go to, super, to go to the supermarket, you can't just go to, um, go to the supermarket. There's no freedom of movement at all, at all. You have to stay inside the house like every day, or else if your boss, if your boss are going out and they just feel like taking you, so that is when you you can just go out. But apart from that, you can't go out as you like. Here in Oman, yeah, I think in Oman and Saudi Arabia, so. That is the um, that is the first thing I'm going to be talking about, which is no freedom of movement. So the number two I'm going to be saying is like Nigeria. The number two I'm going to be saying is way of dressing. Yeah, sincerely, guys, I I wish I wish I knew this too, because though I I before I left home, I already know knew this place to be I have country. Yeah, so. And I know that their mode of dressing would be very, very different from us. But I wasn't expecting what I met when I came. Like, what I think, I know they can't be wearing skimpy clothes like, um, what's it called? Mini skirt, trouser, all those stuff. You understand, as in Nigeria, you understand. But what I really met when I came, like, it, it was very, very, like, surprising. Even though I think what we, uh, what we are going to be wearing is, like jalamia at least if you, if you are going to put on jalamia say it will still have some shape not knowing that nagwari you want to come with <laughs> so guys since i wasn't expecting barije ah you, you guys understand barije now like yeah sure of course <laughs> so guys their way of dressing is very very different for us and i really wish i knew that before coming like before i left nigeria so that is the number two so let's move on to number three so my number three here is you can't get nigeria food nigeria not only nigeria food nigeria stuff easily guys before i left to um, sincerely i thought oman was like dubai yeah that was what I thought. Like, let me just say, let me speak generally. I thought Arab, like all Arab country, is like Dubai. Not knowing that, like, <laughs> I had the wrong impression of Oman. So I thought Oman was like Dubai. That you'd be able to see Nigerian eatery, like Nigerian restaurants here, yeah, and they're not knowing that is a lie. So you can't get Nigerian food or Nigerian stuff easily here. Yeah. Even for you to order go save Nawala. Because the money and when you use maybe twenty five k to order maybe um, rice and beans of Nigerian food food stuff that is not even up to that cannot even last you for one week, and they expect you to use <laughs> the same twenty five k for delivery ah. So getting Nigerian um, food stuff or yeah getting Nigerian food stuff or the main stuff in Oman is very very like. So I really wish I knew that before I left Nigeria. So guys, that's the number three. So let's move on to number four, which is the last on my list. So guys, the number four here is 
no off day for Shagala. Oh, oh jack, but jack, but jack, but <laughs> guys, I know like <clears throat> this part, yeah, yeah. Should I say the problem lies within me because I think I'm the one that's supposed to be to get blame for this because I don't know how I left Nigeria without asking my agent. Like, is there an off day or there is no off day? So, <laughs> but I don't think I asked though, yeah. I just can't remember, like, I, think, I can't remember. So, like, what I really, I really wish I knew there is no off day. Ah, sincerely, guys, I, I, I can't just explain, like, I'm going to be, like, I'm going to be working my ass off 24 hours a day. <laughs> For a all two and uh, two years, ah, oh. I, I like I can't believe it. So guys, I really wish I uh, I knew there is no off day for Shagala. So there is no off day, for Shagala. So guys, that is what I'm going to be saying today. And don't forget to drop your opinion under the comment section. Okay, so let's meet each other under the comment section. So have a lovely day.